There's no doubt that digital transformation is having a profound impact on every business in every sector. But what we're seeing here in Australia is probably a slower growth than in other jurisdictions. Some organisations, they see the value, but they're just not yet clear how to implement it in a way at scale that will drive those outcomes and results that they're seeking. One of the key things that we're seeing out of it is that it's really forcing clients and organisations to really consider how they operate day to day. Digitisation is uh, having a fairly significant impact on what we do and how we deliver services. The average Australian consumer is demanding a different experience from banks. In the financial services sector, it's certainly a more mature and advanced stage in relation to the thinking, if not the implementation of a uh, transformation projects. If you can't do it on your mobile, it's almost not worth doing and that really changes the way we approach all of our processes and our business. One of the digital transformation initiatives and strategies that we've seen quite a number of clients adopt is looking towards uh, investing in a whole range of other startups. In the future, I'd expect actually there may not be a role for independent trustees needed anymore, which is particularly in Australia, trustees play a huge role. What we've seen in the last couple of years has been businesses, both established businesses and in fact new entrants to the market, really struggling to decide where they fit into the overall landscape. Really it's not just about the technology, it is actually about culture and the change in culture that's needed. One of the key change that we're really seeing around digital transformation is that it's actually really opening up opportunities for organisations to think about how they run their back office business processes. But ultimately what we're seeing is clients are looking to understand how can they better meet customer need because it is about the customer.